What's going on? This is Stocks with Cam, and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'll be doing an update on BlackBerry, ticker symbol BB. We're looking at the Ortex data first, and then we're going to bring it into the flow of the calls and puts. We're going to bring our price action more towards the end of the video for BB stock, and we're also going to get into the intraday setup as well. So if you want to stay tuned for that, just keep those eyes peeled. Regardless of all that, though, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So in yesterday's video, kind of warned the short sellers in a way. I mean, of course, it's not really warning the short sellers, but we kind of just made it known that it's not smart to hit a stock like BlackBerry and its recent technical setup at the bottom of a bearish trend. If you're a short seller, I mean, that's you asking to get smoked in your bearish position. If you're down at low points in a bearish trend, that's when the buyers should be buying. The fact that short sellers have been hitting this stock extremely hard over these past few days, few weeks or so, down at the low points between eight and nine dollars, of course, they could have made a little bit of money. But with this recent run up in price action we had recently, it's done the exact opposite for the bears and blackberries float. They have not been having a good time. As much as it seems like us bulls might not be having a good time, my feet are up, my hands are by my head, I'm letting my trend play out because I know there's a lot happening regardless of just the day-to-day -day price action. Uh, there's a lot of compounded interest in BlackBerry's float. And of course, we want it to go. We want it to fly now, but the stock market just does not work like that. This is the stuff we need to see as a bull. And it gets me so jacked to see stuff like this. You can see with around 500,000 borrowed shares against BlackBerry stock today and 2.5 million return shares today. It is huge. It's ginormous. It's amazing. It's everything that you want to see as a bull relating to short interest. It just means that bears in the float are getting the sentiment that the stock price could go higher or they have been persuaded to cover their short positions just related to price activity. If I can bring your short interest over, which is estimated to be the amount of short shares in BlackBerry's float, it brings up this red line for you. Let's zoom over to our recent price activity and you can see that this started rising as the stock price was falling. Of course, uh, that's what always tends to happen in BlackBerry's float because it's been a bear fest for years, but those people that have been playing it back and forth like that also need to realize that trends change. Over here, we love playing BlackBerry stock like a fiddle, up, down, up, down, up, down. And we use that money to establish a longer term position in the stock put more money in without having to dig some money out of our bank account. And that's just the great thing about it. Of course, though, it's a very risky way to play the stock market. And you've got to have some clue, some idea of what you're doing with confidence as well. So if you need to borrow some confidence, related to BlackBerry or not, right? The streams are the best place for you to be. We stream every single trading day from 9.30 to 4, just the whole entire trading day, making plays all day. Uh, we do TA on our favorite stocks all day, and we just keep up with things that are talked about on a day-to-day -day standpoint in the world of finance. As of right now, the short interest percentage change today was 6% in negative territory. It's huge. And we haven't seen stuff like this in so long, which means that this straight shot down to 33.5 million is going to fall even more. They've already gotten smoked in BlackBerry setup, and it seems like they are just getting out of their bearish positions again today. This straight shot down in the short interest is going to get farther down. It's crazy, and it blows my mind, and it's just so surreal to see such a straight shot down after having it fly right back up. It reminds me of what happened over here as well. And shortly after this, we went from around $9.50 to $12. So of course, if this happens in a faster, more rapid manner with less short sellers in the float, you're going to get more of a release of selling pressure and more of an addition of buying pressure. Who knows if we get a middle finger in relation to the stock price, like a straight shot up and a straight shot down. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to portray the massive growth potential that BlackBerry has at such a cheap price. I love the company. I love the stock I hear. And we've been through the deepest trenches of hell to tickling some of the highest ranges we've had recently. A lot of great times, a lot of bad times. But while everybody's hair is on fire and they just can't see through the fog, my feet continue to stay up. The shrewdness's feet continue to stay up. You've got to be able to keep up with your stocks on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you are watching them day-to-day, -day, especially in a long-term position, you also have to bring yourself to the standpoint that this is a long-term hold. This is a long-term hold. If you're not bringing yourself to that standpoint, you are not going to last for long. With BlackBerry's max pain this week still being $9, you can see with us dragging down near the $9.18 range, we could see some green tomorrow. We could see some red on Friday. We could see some red tomorrow and get some green on Friday to bring us back near nine. We can move flat for the rest of the week and still hug around nine. Regardless, at the end of the week around Friday, they're going to do whatever they can to keep us around the price of $9. 
Now, when it comes to your price action, uh, we're gonna keep you in the daily candle setups for now, and these are the Heiken Ashi candles. You can use the regular candles if you want, but with me being such a technical trader, I have such a better time finding out where stocks go next with the Heiken Ashi candles. Regardless of what anybody says, it's my favorite, so I'm gonna continue to use it. As you can see though, we went from lows to lows. You're actually attempting a bounce off of this right now. This is around the price point of like 910 to 915, if you will. We could always get the bearish result, and this would just make the inverse head and shoulders that we've been looking for. But with your volume picking up down here at these low points, if your volume continues to pick up along with the removal of short sellers in the float, it's going to be a lot easier for you to see the bullish moves that we've been projecting ahead. Of course, we've gone through days and weeks of sideways and red activity, so we could always fall lower, but you have to give those trends time to play out. You gotta go through a million short-term trends in order to find the long-term setup that you have. Uh, if we don't break out with release, it is what it is. We could always fall lower to establish another retest and run back up to the high point, but we're looking for strength either this week or next week. We've gotten a good bit this week. We've gotten a good bit last week. We're looking for this to continue ahead. In our one minute candles today, things got weird. There was a lot of liquidation before market close, which is different than the past like three weeks we've had in Blackberry's float. It's usually weakness throughout the day and strength towards market close. Today, it's the exact opposite and we're gapping down after market as we speak. Hey, if we're going to run down to catch the lowest supports that we need to catch, let's get it and let's get it fast. Uh, we're getting a lot of bullish sentiment back into the stock market, but realize that it's never peaches and sunshine. And just as much as we want it to fly to the moon, it could always turn sour and give us a little bit more pain before we get to where we want to go. And that's just what it comes down to. You got to sign up for that stuff. You got to continue to accept that stuff because the only other uh, choice that you have other than accepting it is just settling and leaving. And that's it. <laughs> like that's, that's what it comes down to. There's no in between. You either hope and pray that it can fly to the moon while you prepare for the worst, or you just hope that it will fly to the moon and prepare for it flying to the moon. And then you get crushed because your conviction's getting tested. Regardless of all that though, if you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll help me out more than you can even imagine. And my help it as well too, dog, get some more faces in the channels, the streams, just the videos on a day-to-day -day basis to portray the massive growth potential that BlackBerry has at such a cheap price. Shrew gang, I'll catch y'all boys. Y'all stay safe out there so I can see you tomorrow. Peace out. Uh... Shrew gang.